Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right. So I saw the segment. Skip. Shannon. They got out, got kind of got into it in a little... It, it went a little far uh, in terms of their, their, their banter. In regards to the Tom Brady conversation, uh, those who follow football know better than me, but uh, I hear that it was a blowout yesterday pretty bad. So uh, I guess that it was an old for gopher type of situation where the uh, the Bucks got shut out. So it's a situation now where they're talking about this and they're going back and forth, and then it just starts getting to a situation where they're talking as if they're no longer friends anymore. And it's one of those things where it's like, okay, guys, we get it. You're passionate about these topics, but I think you still got to remember that kids are watching the show and we're an example for them. So if we're going to do these debate shows, you wanted to go but so far and you want to walk away and still be friends. You know, Skip said some things to Shannon that didn't sit well with the audience. You know, he was essentially uh, criticizing Skip's uh, career. I mean, um, Shannon's career, Skip did. He was saying that, you know, he he's nowhere near as good as Tom Brady. Nowhere, and that's like, come on, like that's low hanging fruit. Obviously, Tom Brady's the goat quarterback, so you know it's not fair to to even do that. But at the same time, it's like you know you're talking to a Hall of Fame athlete himself, Shannon Sharp, obviously one of the greatest tight ends to ever do it. So it's like, why are you non-athlete even bringing up his stats to him? And I know the answer to that. The answer is because the ar argument is about Tom Brady, and therefore this is an athlete who's a Hall of Famer, and his narrative. That he's basically saying is that Shea is trying to be uh, a hater. You know, he's jealous of Tom Brady. He's been jealous of Tom Brady for six years. My thing is, okay, Tom Brady just got blown out. It's a great time to, to have a moment like this where you bring a little extra attention to your, 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 your show before the end of the year. But my thing is, it can also be interpreted another way. This is how I'm looking at it. Shea came on that screen, uh, what was it, about two weeks ago? and wore a skip mask it might have been a little longer than that but a skip bayless mask and my thing was i made a video on it i said look that was a little too far for shannon i know he didn't mean he didn't appear to mean anything by it i don't ever know what people mean honestly but you know to me i didn't think he meant anything by it but i think skip probably took offense in multiple ways because i think skip appreciates shannon's intellect so i know he believes shannon would see this angle as i do that's something that Skip would probably be canceled for s several times over. You would never see Skip on television again if he came on television with a Skip Bayless mask. It just wouldn't work. So even though the mask was a bit, you know, it had its its features. So you could say that Skip would be offended by the features of the mask and the fact that he's wearing the mask and it can be considered the, uh, the opposite of, of blackface, disrespectful and all of that. But I, I looked at it a deeper way, like, you know I can't do that. Why would you do that? And so it's one of those situations where it's like you, you know, I can I can perceive where Skip may say you're weaponizing your ability as a black person to do that without being canceled against me, um, and making fun, making it making light of that. And you know I just think that it's one of those situations where I can I can see where that had probably boiled over. Man, maybe you have reached a boiling point. And I, I don't know, man. I just think the energy's been different ever since then. And watching their show, I don't watch it too much. And I know they went on a hiatus after that, too, for a couple weeks or so. I mean, they just got back together. So that was telling to me, you know, that whole situation was telling to me. I didn't think they were going to uh, just be able to bounce back. I really didn't. I, I felt like they would probably have to have a personal conversation or two about that. And that was just my own personal thing. I didn't, you know, I never heard anyone say uh, from their camps or anything. I didn't, you know. But that's the type of thing where you just understand that you inherently understand that. Uh, if you're me, I've been in certain circumstances where it's like you understand that, you know, people weaponize their ability against people sometimes. And so you just don't, you don't want to be accused of that. And so I think that's one of those situations where Skip may have, uh, may have felt some disrespect there and may have just kind of, you know, maybe lost respect for Shannon in that situation. I don't know. I perceived it as possible. And when I look at what took place today, that's the first thing I thought of. I didn't think there was a, a publicity stunt. I didn't. I thought that they were naturally entertainers, so they're going to make a moment of their circumstance, just like most would do. But I don't. I didn't think that was fake. I didn't think they were. They were just talking about Tom Brady either, you know, because he took a personal shot at the man to say you're not as good as Tom Brady. You don't have to do that, you know. It's not necessary to do that, and. 
you know, to say he's jealous and to, to apply a narrative to your co-host. I mean, it seems <laughs> I, 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 there's a lot of different ways to take that. And I don't know how, how these TV shows are put together behind the scenes. So it's hard for me. If I did have a better understanding of how they do these things, then I would be better be able to provide you an opinion that makes sense. But from where I'm sitting, uh, that, that was a good moment to bring attention to the show. And maybe one that Skip might want to apply an apology to Shannon after, tomorrow in regards to. Because that's the sentiment. People are not happy about this. And I, they didn't like how Skip... I don't think they understood all the angles. Um, and they, you know, a lot of people are looking at it at face value. And it's like you're being very disrespectful to a Hall of Fame guy. And, and saying he's not as good as the GOAT. Like, obviously... If he's the GOAT, no one's better than him. So it's one of those situations where people are looking at him saying, yo, Skip, you don't have a right to do that. You know, you didn't even play ball. Like, <laughs> you wish you could play ball like these dudes. You talk this sport. Why do you think that you can even do that? And so I think that's how most people are taking it. Uh, I really do. And they're asking, they're, they're demanding apology. <laughs> so I think I think it'll come. I think it'll come. I think Shannon will accept it. I think the very next segment, you can see that their tone had changed. I think they understood the sentiment like, even if we're having problems, we can't come off that way because people love us and they're going to be mad at us for disrespecting each other. And I think that's what they understand. So it's like, yo, get that right. <laughs> hey, don't don't miss that part. But, uh, you know, I think I think Shannon wants to do his own thing. As soon as I saw him come out with the Shades, um, you know, YouTube uh, program where he does Uncle Shades, uh, uh, you know, sit down with everybody. I knew it was like, OK, he's trying to do other things. Uh, maybe he still wants to do his big job, but. He wants to get in this space and kind of have his own voice. And so I think I think that that might be closer than we think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how their contract situations are set up or whatever. But if they're starting to have conflicts and I've been sensing energy, it, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where it goes from here. But I'll tell you guys the truth. This is just my own personal thing. I don't really like the bullying. You know, and, and, so, and when I say bullying, I mean the Westbrook thing. I'm sure there are others. And I don't watch enough of their segments to know who else they do that to. And I'm sure over the years, there's been many. That's just what comes to mind right now. But, like, yeah, I'm not a fan of the let's apply a narrative just for the sake of narratives. If something's going on, let us know. Cool, whatever. If it's, if it's juicy, oh, wow, we'll be entertained. But to just apply lies to people and apply, like, just making fun of people. My thing was it really affected Russell's play. Like, as a Laker fan... You know, I don't I don't mind if it's a guy if it's somebody who can take it, you know what I mean? But once it becomes a situation where a guy says, Nah, this isn't respectful, a guy's wife come out and said, Nah, this isn't respectful and you go from there and say, uh, you know, you don't care and you're gonna call him West Brick anyway and, and, and all of that energy, I just felt like I'm a firm believer in if you engage in the wrong energy, you're asking for what you're doing to fall apart. That's what I truly believe in. And we, like it's one thing to be funny it's nothing to, but every day make fun of this man and then you proceed to see him really have it out on the court every day and then you still apply yeah 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 and you're just he's just twigging out and i'm like okay this is a good person we all agree that this is a good guy russell westbrook that you're doing this to and so it's like i can see if he was a jerk you know what i mean i can see if his personality I've, I've, you know whatever but and he has had moments with the media, so I know there's some people who don't like him like that. But from what I understand, most of the people have good things to say about Russell from, from outside to inside and everywhere around. So it's like, he's going through it, he's having a hard time, and you guys are making it worse. And you keep applying it, you keep applying it, he's asked you to stop, you keep going, and it gets to a point where it's like, all right, you're asking for it. And so now I'm seeing what's happening now, and I'm just wondering if, I don't know, like, I don't know. <laughs> it just makes me wonder. If you start doing certain things the wrong way, certain things start falling apart. And when you start doing things the right way, it starts coming together. That's just what I've seen in my own walk with life. And I see it applied in other people's lives as well. And when they mess up, they get beat up <laughs> and they, they dust themselves off and they usually pick themselves up if it doesn't kill them. So that's every single walk of life, no matter what it is that you're doing. If you're engaging in the wrong energy, it's going to give you the wrong results. So I just felt like they should have apologized to Westbrook. Uh, that's the apology that I've been waiting for to Mrs. Westbrook, to the kids, because at the end of the day, this is an athlete. If he's going to miss shots, cool. If he doesn't mind being talked about, cool. If he's about 
bringing awareness to his brand by all means necessary and you can make fun of me every day to do so there are athletes who do that cool that's not what he was on he was struggling with the energy he was struggling with it it became encouraging people to make fun of him for his mistakes rather than encouraging people to root for him if he gets it right it's like no we're, we're rallying up others into sin skip the christian guy and i know he doesn't see that angle <laughs> no he don't but he's firmly christian he believes in the christian like he's heavy on that but it's like brother you got to understand when you're engaging in the wrong energy and you believe if you really believe in christ you know he's gonna he's gonna confront you about it so you know we've been talking about a lot of this stuff on this channel that's why i blended into these topics because i don't know how not to <laughs> i literally don't know how not to in the world and times we're in if you're going to call yourself christian in these times you probably should behave like christ would want you to behave otherwise you should probably just back off of the, the whole thing altogether i just really firmly believe that especially if you're as devout as he believes himself to be so that whole Westbrook thing you know, he ain't doing it right i can tell you that dude, that's that's not right man <laughs> not for ratings not for anything you don't when a guy's struggling with it that's when you back off that's when it becomes bullying and that's when you're deserving at that point. So when it all falls apart, that's that's what I think about. When it becomes a situation where guys can't seem to keep their energy together because they can't seem to find ways to respect one another, it starts there. Definitely starts there. So that's what I wanted to say, man. That's what's on my heart, man. I'm a fan of those guys, obviously. I don't want their ten you know, what they're doing to end, but I would like it to evolve. And I'd like the whole thing to evolve. Everything that is involving the entertainment business, it needs to evolve in regards to its energy. We're all aware that we engage in the wrong energy in these places. And we know that it's done for the wrong reasons. And some of the acts behind the scenes are letting us know this. So it's time to start doing things the right way and do it on a broader scale and teach the people who are coming next how to. And make it cool. Just like you make everything else cool. Just like you make all the evil stuff cool. Just like y'all make killing people cool. Just like y'all make robbing people cool in the video games. Make engaging in good energy cool so we can stop some of these wars and stop some of this karma that's coming to kick our butts with all these damn pandemics and stuff. This, you think, I want to ask people, do you think the coronavirus is the last thing that's coming? <laughs> I just want to know. Because this is unprecedented. We ain't seen nothing like this in a long time, like plagues like this. It don't hit us modern, modern times like this. We thought we had overcome that type of stuff, but here comes this thing and it just... Knocked us all into our households for like a whole six months. Did we not learn from that? I don't think we did. Nope, I do not think anybody learned too much, man. We're still engaging in the worst of energy. And so I'm just worried about the next round two of whatever the heck is coming. And so that's what I'm telling people in, in media because you influence the people. That's the truth. You influence them. They're, you're leading them towards sin or towards goodness, toward this or that. And so... If I'm to believe that karma comes to all of us and you're the one influencing all of us, then we need to figure out how we can influence one another to engage in better energy in general. Openly, with conversations that are attached to celebrities, just like we do with all the other sin we do. So that's what I got to say, man. I'm not an overly religious person. You know, I don't think people should stop praying what they're praying and pray what I'm praying. I'm just saying, be kind. Apply what you can to people who can handle it. If he can handle it, cool. Let's troll all day. But if a guy can't handle it, and it's turned him into a worse version of himself, and it's having reverberating effects on how his people are feeling as well around him, his kids are being teased at school or whatever around this, it's like, whoa, do we... Let's not let our, our hypocrisy go to a place where we can't see it at all. We sit up here and say we don't agree with bullying. We say we sit up here and we say we're Christian, and then we engage in bullying tactics. No, friend, no. No, let's not be confused here. We're doing, we're, we're bullying people. So let's stand up and say we're bullies and we appreciate bullying anywhere we see it. That's what, that's what you have to engage in when you do that. Because otherwise you're a hypocrite. Hold no credibility. BDL 44. Thank you all for watching. Ow.